Hello, my name is Sylvester McCoy. I'm an actor. I suffer from arthritis in my ankles. I call my arthritis in my ankles um, comedy war wounds, really, because my acting career is, was very physical. I was tumbling, falling. I'd fall downstairs just for a laugh. And I'd fall out of windows again for a laugh. Not realising that years later I would suffer for it because I was really, really punishing my joints. And the pain came around when I got to about 50. And then it became almost impossible to carry on doing any physical work. So I had to get it fixed. As you can see, ankle arthritis is a disabling condition. Most cases occur after trauma, such as multiple severe sprains or fractures of the ankle. This leads to a progressive wear and tear of the shock-absorbing cartilage, and over years, the development of osteoarthritis. Ankle arthritis can also be caused by other diseases, such as rheumatism or gout, but the end result is the same. The cartilage becomes worn away, the bones can rub together, causing pain, stiffness, and can have a major impact on the quality of your life. I had to stop walking uh, socially completely. I was hardly able to walk at all. I mean, it was agony just getting across the bedroom to go to the lavatory. I couldn't even um, stand very long for washing up or cooking. It's up and down the stairs, uh, not being able to drive a car. Every year, up to 29,000 patients are referred by their GP to foot and ankle orthopaedic specialists to discuss surgery for their ankle arthritis but only 3,000 of those ever come to surgery. Before surgery is considered, there are many non-surgical treatments that should be tried, such as using painkillers, changing your activity levels, weight loss and physiotherapy. Supportive ankle braces can also be very helpful. If all these treatments have been tried and you remain in pain, then surgery may be considered. The two main surgical treatments available through the NHS are ankle arthrodesis and ankle replacement. Ankle arthrodesis involves removing the arthritic joint surfaces. The two bones are then held together with metal screws or plates to stop any movement. And over time, the two bones fuse together to become one. This can be a keyhole procedure or open surgery, depending on your circumstances. In total ankle replacement, the arthritic joint surfaces are removed and resurfaced with metal components. A plastic insert is then placed between the metal surfaces to allow motion. After both types of surgery, you are likely to need a plaster or a boot for up to three months and may be advised not to wait bare for the first few weeks. This will mean crutches or a frame to get about. Every patient is different and your surgeon will discuss the most appropriate post-operative plan for you. Both ankle arthrodesis and ankle replacement can offer excellent results and improve your quality of life. I can certainly cycle happily, swim happily, you know, I was doing 20 mile walks quite happily. I can do my own shopping, which it was getting that because of the weight, carrying shopping, I couldn't do it. There's very little that I can't do now. I'm back doing my 20 mile walks a week uh, and, and I'm, I'm absolutely no problem. I'm walking very well and uh, without a limp with total flexibility and, and now it's the time to see whether, like all retired people, I can take this up as, a, as another hobby on top of the gardening and everything else. Half the patients you've just seen have had an ankle arthrodesis and the others a replacement. I certainly can't tell the difference. Can you? After both, you can still have an almost normal walking pattern and even manage stairs. And this is due to the compensatory motion in the surrounding 30 joints in the foot. But as with any surgery, there are risks involved. With arthrodesis, stresses will be transferred to the adjacent joints, which may wear with time and then lead to some symptoms. In ankle replacement, the long-term results are still unknown, but about 10% of patients still have some unexplained pain in their ankle, even after surgery. You will be provided with an information leaflet. This gives detailed information about each procedure, and it's important that you read this. So it's clear that both treatments can offer excellent results, but there's never been a clinical trial comparing these treatments. And so what we don't know is which helps patients most, nor which offers best value money for the NHS. And so I'm delighted to report that the NIHR, the main funding body in the NHS, has agreed to invest close to two million pounds to finally answer the question, ankle replacement or ankle arthrodesis? And this is the TARFA trial. 
The study is a national clinical trial taking place in 15 specialist centres across the UK and will involve around 330 patients with severe ankle arthritis, just like yourself. We're looking to recruit patients between the ages of 50 to 85 years. We want to find out which treatment gives you the better pain-free function and helps you lead a better quality of life with the least complications. You are watching this video because we think you are eligible to take part and your specialist believes you would do equally well with either procedure. This study is called a randomised clinical trial, meaning that you have an equal chance of being selected to be in the ankle arthrodesis group or the ankle replacement group. To make this study scientifically valid, a computer will select which treatment you will receive. Once this is done, you will not be able to change with the treatment group that has been allocated to you as this would change the study results. It is therefore really important that you feel comfortable with both treatments before agreeing to take part in the study. So what happens next? By taking part in the TARVA trial, you'll get an MRI scan of your ankle and you'll be asked to complete a set of questionnaires, which will add a few minutes to each visit, but are really important because they help us to understand how you're doing. Of course, you're under no obligation to take part at all. And if you do not wish to do so, then you are still eligible for standard NHS treatment. Research allows doctors to uh, improve treatments and the care that they can deliver for you in the future. And for uh, your future, my future, and the future's future. <laughs>